All right, we're going to look at um fourth video in our series here, uh part 2 of solving for unknowns. Um we know if we have say this equation, we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. Um we're going to say that x is 7 minus 4 and that's 3. Um likewise if we have I don't know 8x is 32, then uh, we're going to divide both sides by 8. Um, that's going to be 4. And we also looked at how to uh, check our answer. Like here in the first top, we would take and put 3 in place of uh, x and make sure that that was right. And um, just like here, we're going to take 4 and put it in place of x. Um, and that is uh, 32. So we're going to look at some more complicated uh, situations. Let's look at this. Okay, well, um, if you remember, our original premise was we want to have our final answer in this form, x equals some number. Uh, and the idea is we're just going to take piece by piece and get x by itself. So let's subtract 3 from both sides. That will leave us with 2x on uh, this side and 11 minus 3 on this side. Um, which is uh, 8. So then we divide by 2 on both sides. x is 8 divided by 2. So x is 4. And we have um, achieved our goal. Um, like before, we're going to take our answer that we get and put it in place to make sure we get the right answer. Well, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3 is 11. And uh, we see that we have the uh, the same answer that we had in our original equation. Um, you notice something we did if we go back to here. The first thing we did was we subtracted 3 from both sides. Um, we could do this a different way. We could start with um, getting rid of the 2. And here's how that would work. Okay, so we have 2x plus 3 equals 11. Um, if we want to divide everything by 2, we have to divide both sides by 2. So what this really means is we have um, this divided by 2 equals 11 divided by 2. Okay, if we break this up, then we have 2x divided by 2 plus 3 halves is 11 halves. Um, 2 times x divided by 2 is just x, and so then we have x plus 3 halves is 11 halves. Um, subtract 3 halves from both sides, and we get 8 over 2, which is 4. Okay? And uh, we've already seen that 4 is the right answer for this equation, so we don't need to check it. So let's look at a couple more examples. Um, uh, we'll say 3x minus 2 is 13. Uh, we'll do it both ways. Uh, to get rid of the minus 2, we can add 2 to both sides. So we have 3x, and then we um, add 2 to, this, to both sides. Uh, that's... 15, divide both sides by 3, and we got 5. And we go in to check it by putting 5 in the place of uh, x. And we get 15 minus 2, and that's 13, which is what we started with. Another way of doing this is to divide both sides by 3. Okay, so we end up with 3x divided by 3 minus 2 thirds equals 13 thirds. Um, 3 times x divided by 3 is just x minus 2 thirds is 13 thirds. So now we will add 2 thirds to both sides. We get x is 13 thirds plus 2 thirds. Um, that's 15 thirds, or you know, 15 over 3, and that's 5, which is the same thing we got here. Okay. Finally, we're going to look at one more um, scenario. Um, we'll say this. 3x plus 5 is 5x. Actually, let's do 5x minus uh, 9. Well, Something you'll notice is that we have x's on both sides of our equation now. 
Um, one way to deal with this is just to, kind of like we've done with everything else, we want to get all of our x's on one side to begin with. So I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. You know, we can do that because um, it's the same thing on each side. Okay, well, 3x minus 5x is minus 2x. And then, you know, the plus 5 stays there. And then 5x minus 5x is 0, so we have this negative 9. And now we have a problem just like what we looked at um, just a second ago. So let's subtract 5 on both sides, um, which is, so negative 9 minus 5, which is negative 14. Divide both sides by negative 2. We'll see that x is 7. We'll go back to our original equation and plug in 7 to see if what we get um, is right. Well, 21 plus 5 is, let's do this, 21 plus 5 is 29, or 26, rather. Might help if I can count. And 35 minus 9 is 26, so we get the same thing. Um, we'll look at one more. Let's see, uh, we'll say 32. Well, there are two ways we can approach this. Um, first, we can just multiply the 4 out and follow that route, um, which we know where to go from there. We'll subtract 12 from both sides or whatever. Um, the other way, if you, if you notice, the uh, 4 is multiplied by all of this. Well, let's divide by 4 on both sides. Okay, so you have 4 times this divided by 4, and then you have 32 divided by 4 on this side. Well, on this side, you see the um, divided by 4 will cancel the times 4, so you have just x plus 3 equals 8, and x is 5. And if we go back, I'm going to condense this a little, we go back, we check our original equation, and um, that's 32.